The last time we spent a lot of time with the Corolla Cross, uh, Jack absolutely hated it because it was a fuel efficiency run between the hybrid and the non-hybrid to Baguio and back. By the way, get well soon, buddy. That particular video, which the links are somewhere down below, the whole point of that was to find out, like I said, fuel efficiency. But that point has become somewhat moot because Toyota has introduced this, the all new Toyota Corolla Cross hybrid. But see, the thing is, they're all hybrids now. There is no longer a non-hybrid version. That's right. So this, folks, is the small little walk around we're gonna do to discuss what the differences are between this new model from the previous one. And of course, I'll hint at what exactly are the differences between this V variant to the lower G variant and the top end GRS variant. Let's start with the front clip. Now, you'll notice that the grill is, has got this mature honeycomb design to it. And it really does look much better than the previous model. Much like the previous model was, well, it remained in high school and this decided to go to college. I like it. I really, really do. Now, this particular bit up here, obviously it will change between the variants of either the G or the GRS. But this particular design right here in the center will remain the same. There will be a difference in the position of the fog lamps between the GRS and the non-GRS variants. Also difference in this new model is that in the past, there was a blue line here on the headlamp, which helped signify that it was a hybrid. That blue line no longer exists. Now you're looking at this gorgeous headlamp, which is by the way, really, really big and has been updated to a two beam LED. It was a uh, projector before, a halogen projector now, two beam LED with this gorgeous configuration that is also sequential lights. Now the sequential lights is only available on this V variant and the GRS variant. But uh, one thing I wanted to point out, if you look here in the center, I don't mean to backtrack, but it's now got the blue oval once again. Now, on our review of the Xenix, if I'm not mistaken, which the links are found somewhere down below, I said that moving forward from the Xenix, Toyota wouldn't be using the blue badge anymore, and they would only be using the badges that you find on the side. Unfortunately, I've been bamboozled. It's back. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but there it is. Underneath, while in the previous models there were two options, now there's only one since they're all hybrids. So underneath is the 1.8 liter gasoline engine, which is a four cylinder, mated to a CVT, uh, uh, helped by an electric motor, which produces a total of 120 plus horses and 142 newton meters of torque. Now the the same still goes for this engine about its fuel efficiency. So if you really, really wanna know what the fuel efficiency is, I suggest you go back to that video where we had the non-hybrid versus the hybrid, and it's pretty much going to be the same. Now down the side, the silhouette of the automobile will still obviously be pretty much the same. Maybe a, a line here or there difference, but it's still unmistakably the Toyota Corolla Cross. The differences between the variants of the G being the base, the V being technically the top end, and then the GRS, which is like the super top end. The differences will lie in the color and the size of the wheels. Also, wanted to add this, that although they have updated the tech inside, which we will get to, the GRS is the only one that comes with an around view monitor. Everybody else gets standard reverse camera. Well, not exactly standard. I'll get to that in a minute. Come look at the look. I meant the rear. Come look at the rear. So the lights, the shape of the lights are still the same, but the pattern inside the lights at the rear have changed. There's somewhat of a cut inside that actually make it look darn good. Also, in addition, for the V variant and the GRS, which is technically the two top end variants, you now have a power tailgate. Pretty cool, huh? Now the space inside obviously will still remain the same. It's just that the difference is now you now have a power tailgate, which by the way, has a kick function as well. And I don't know if you can see this, but here at the rear, there is a camera. There's a rear facing camera. Also up front, there is a front facing camera because all variants of the Toyota Corolla Cross come with this particular function, this DVR, which is really, 
it's just an addition to all of Toyota's safety sense and the fact that it's safer for everybody on the road, not just in the passengers inside, but for everybody else outside so that we always know the truth. Ooh, X-Files, the truth is out there. Updates inside the rear passenger seat, now this is the V variant, mind you, is that there are air vents here and there are also two charging points which have now been updated to type C. I can tell you, however, that the difference between this V variant and the G variant, which is the, the, the base variant, if you will, it does not have charging points at the rear. And also, it doesn't have leather seats. They're cloth seats. So I'm starting to think that this might actually be my favorite. Not even the GRS, just this, because it feels like it's the most complete. Obviously, that uh, you can see that there are cup holders on the door, similar to the previous model. And of course, a center armrest with two cup holders. Most of the changes, however, for the tech, well, obviously, because there's no tech back here, is up front. That I want to show you now. Now, the tech inside here is now the big difference because whereas you had larger analog gauges and a small digital chip computer here, now you have a TFT display. It's colored with smaller analog gauges, so you've got more digitalness to you. The steering wheel uh, is also now wrapped in leather, very nice. Must add that in this V variant, you do have cruise control. In the G variant, the lower variant, you don't have cruise control. But, but, all variants of the Toyota Corolla Cross get this massively updated 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. It seems like we used to make fun of Toyota not that long ago about not having a system that was compatible with today's standards. And now they've got, oh, we're putting it on all our cars. Bravo, Toyota, good job. Also, in addition to that, there is a wireless charging pad, not just available for this variant, but for all variants. So I like the fact that they've added this huge screen, the two DVRs and the wireless charging pad for all of their vehicles. Of course, what will vary also when it comes to safety is that there's more Toyota safety sense inside the V variant and the GRS over that of the, well, over that of the G variant. Did I say that right? Did I say that right? I'm saying that the V and the GRS have obviously more tech safety sense than that the G, which is the base. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. You know what, Earl? Jack is a lot more on the ball when it comes to these things. Are you ever going to come close to his level? Jack, I miss you. Please get well soon. You haven't seen the video yet. What video? Of him crashing? No, this video. Oh, oh, this video, yeah. Ay, wait, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I forgot to mention one other thing. There is no longer a foot parking brake that doesn't exist anymore because now it's an electronic parking brake for all of them not just the v variant or the grs but even the g variant no more footsies no more playing footsies now you're obviously going to want to know how much is this all going to cost you well that's coming up right now now depending on which color you get the G variant comes in at 1,498,000 Philippine pesos. The V variant comes in at 1,763,000 Philippine pesos. And the GRS comes in at 1,917,000 Philippine pesos. Now, I did not discuss this in length, but you're probably wondering why there's such a big gap between the V variant and the GRS variant. It's not just cladding and whatnot on the outside. You also get bigger wheels, you get a panoramic roof, enhanced around view monitor, the suspension is different. There's other things too, which make that price difference warranted. Head on over to autodeal.com.ph where there are a lot of photos of all of these cars so that you can look at them, perhaps compare them. And if you're ready, try our get quote button because this after all is a Toyota and this thing will sell like hotcakes faster than those in IHOP. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe. We'll see you soon.